Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with truth. It always protects, it always trusts, always hopes, and always preserves. On this day, it's appropriate to talk about love. That's what brought you here, standing here in front of us. That's what brought everyone here today, and that is love. Marissa, I love you. Ever since the first time I saw you, the Lord has told me to be patient. I'm thankful the day has finally arrived. I thank the Lord for bringing you into my life and for giving me the courage to pursue you. <clears throat> you push me to be a better man and to seek after Christ. You're such an intelligent, strong, and driven woman. I love the way you carry joy. I love the way you care for and genuinely love people. And of course, you are gorgeous. Your beauty cannot be overstated. Ryan, you are my best friend, an apprentice to Jesus, hardworking, generous, and loyal. You are a servant leader, a gentle listener, and intentional. From this day forward, I promise you this, to be thoughtful and do the little things that make you smile. To dig deep, ask intentional questions, and communicate honestly. I promise to celebrate the big and small moments, of course, in an over-the-top way. To be patient and to always make you laugh. To be faithful to you and choose you every day. Marissa, I take you to be my wife. I will love and honor you. I choose to give all that I am and all that I have to you. For richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, through the valleys and on the mountains, I will be there. I will love Jesus and to the best of my ability, I will love you as he has loved the church. I will be faithful to you forsaking all others. I will protect you and fight for us until this life pass. I promise to honor you and cherish you as my husband. I promise to love you, hug you, and kiss you every day. Yes. Together, we will put on love, be generous, and live out radical, ordinary hospitality. Together, we will always dream big, seek God's adventure, and encourage, e and encourage each other to seek Kavana, kingdom-minded work. Because if it's a win for the kingdom, then it's a win for us both. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the sight of God and before his church to witness the union of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. May the love of Christ, that agape love, may it surround you both. May it bond you both together. May it be the foundation on which you stand. A Christ-based, Christ-focused, Christ-like sacrificial love. May that be the standard in your lives, together, from this point and beyond, as you begin your journey as husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no one put asunder. You may kiss the bride. It is my honor and privilege to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Ryan and Marissa Tapper. I vow to always be by your side, in sickness and in health, in the good times and the bad. I vow to listen, to speak lovingly, to give generously all of myself, to care, to heal, to rejoice, and to pray with you and for you forever and always. Ryan Mark Tapio, I vow to love you unconditionally for as long as we both shall live.
I commit to pursuing life-giving work with you as we continue to dream big for the kingdom of God. This is my solemn vow. Into the great unknown